Howdy folks, welcome to Coffee and Tools this Monday, uh, and we've got a new tool, or new something to look at today, and I want to talk a little bit about the safety around uh, welding with eyeballs, because your eyes, they can't seem to really fix those things, and they don't grow back if something goes wrong, and welding can burn your eyeballs out pretty bad. It's easy to damage eyeballs when it comes to welding, in fact, uh, there's a lot of things, issues out there with the uh, welding that, you know, you need to have a certain amount of safety gear to properly be welding. And I do a lot of welding. And in fact, I was going to do some welding this morning just for the show, but it was like, it's not a point because it's really not about welding or welding machine or something today. It's about helmet because I bought a uh, cheap helmet, I bought a couple cheap helmets, and I got thinking about it and thought, you know, my eyes are worth more than worrying about 10 bucks or 20 bucks or something for a helmet. So I thought, you know, I really should have a good professional welding helmet that works. And I've been looking around and I haven't really found anything. Well, a couple of weeks ago, a uh, company contacts me and says, we've got a professional welding helmet. Would you like to have a look at it? Uh, yeah, send it on over. Let's have a look at it. So it's here. And... I've been checking it out and playing with it a little bit already, already of course. You know. And so the box is already open, the helmet's already out here, and I got to show this to you because it's it really is. It's I like it. It's got some nice features, but it works well, and it has a few things that uh, other welding helmets don't have. First off, here it is, and there's the company's name. I'm going to give you a link to the lo to uh, where you can find these bad boys, and where you can pick one of these up. First thing is. It's, this is sturdy, it's not real flimsy or anything. So that was the first thing that was kind of like, yeah, you know, it's about time we had a nice sturdy welding helmet. The other thing that uh, immediately, of course, was pointed out was the number one feature was the fact that this, is actually, this screen is actually from here all the way to here. So in other words, you can see side to side and look out a little bit. So if you're welding and something is coming along here or something, you know, you're going to see it. So it's a little more safer. The very next thing I noticed was when I put it on, this thing, I'm going to try to see if, we, yeah, see if we can show you this. This head strap piece is not only just a little different than one I've ever seen, it's comfortable. It has a nice, real nice cushiony soft, you know, headband here, but also has a spot right above it that helps, you know, catch up on the old forehead. Then you have this piece here for over top of your head, and of course back here it's real easy to adjust the tension on it. Well, that was good. It was like, man, this is a really comfortable helmet. And then the next thing I noticed was it's got a real nice positive lock. So when you tilt this thing up, it'll stay up when you want it to. It'll drop when you need it with your head. It's easy to control. It also has, of course, the auto darkening uh, system. Uh, again, we'll take a quick look at the auto darkening in there. And you can see the control package in there for it so you can set how much you know you need to or what's comfortable the whole point of this is considered to be a professional welding helmet as is the way it's presented and it is a better quality helmet than any of the helmets that i have in here with me right now and i think it's a way better helmet and for a little bit of extra coin if you're gonna you know if you're even gonna be like me where you know here and there you do some welding which, like I said, on and off, I do. I've got some, you know, good, good sized projects that I like to weld on every once in a while. Mostly MIG welding these days. Um, I'm an old stick guy from way back, but uh, I haven't had a good welding helmet for years. And everything is so flimsy and so nasty that it seems to be out in the market right now. It's all about cheap welding helmet. And I'm thinking, but my eyes are worth more than that. Not just, you know, more comfort or, you know, a better feature like this, but it's just the idea of having a good helmet especially when you're welding because you do not want to damage your eyes or take a chance on it so why do that get a professional welding helmet get a good one and that's what this is all about this one right here and let's just take a quick look even the back this is a really nice heavy uh, rubberized backing here to fit the back of your head so it stays comfortable you could probably weld for quite a few hours and stay comfortable with this guy as opposed to the other nasty helmets that i have kicking around my shop right now uh, also the headband really comfortable put it on man it, it's you know it grabs your head but it's comfortable and it's not you know squeezing you to give you a migraine headache or something right away 
The other thing was the screen size itself, of course, is quite large. It's it's a little bit bigger than some of the ones. I have one here that's a slit. That's like I don't know. It's like man, it's like looking through a you know peephole while you're trying to weld. This one's a lot bigger. And also, like I said, the control package they have in here, so you can really set that auto darkening to the way you want it or what's going to be comfortable with you. And of course, it has the approval label down in here uh, for the welding helmet, and it's sturdy. This is a you know, this is a sturdy piece of plastic that, or whatever that they use. Yeah, a sturdy piece of plastic for a welding helmet. It also has little release buttons here on the side. So you can, you know, let this thing, you know, you can release this thing up and down and work it. Let's talk about them. Let's have a closer look and talk about them features. Mm. Okay, so the features of the professional welding helmet. Uh, the number one thing that stands out, of course, this has four advanced arc sensors which is two more than, you know, the competitors. Uh, I, the other thing it will do is that response time is one in 25 thousandths of a second. And you can, you know, do automatic adjustment of light and darkness in the mask time. The uh, wide range, of course, of, uh, from auto darkening, but also it has a dark state level adjust to DN313, which is two working modes of three adjustment ranges which uh, for grinding mode very suitable for TIG, MIG and well UV and IR protection of course uh, is in accordance with the DN16 rules. Like I said this is a professional uh, welding helmet uh, it's, it's no joke. It has a large viewing screen of course with six replaceable protective covers in total. The field of view and size of the uh, provides a good you know working range of view. The eye protection complies with EN379. Vision protection complies with EN also 175. In addition, they provide you with the six, of course, per, you know, protective covers. High temperature resistance and high quality precision protection, excuse me. High temperature resistance and high quality protection. The welding mask is made from high impact polymer nylon. The working temperature is minus five degrees Celsius to 55 degrees uh, Celsius, which, yeah, you'll have to do a little metric on that one, huh, guys, if you're in the US, which still blocks the high temperatures and the sparks. So here's a feature that I really like. This here gives you nice protection against the sparks and anything flying up in here to destroy the helmet because that screen in front of your eyes is important. So one of the things that's gonna happen over time, this is gonna get all scratched up, and again, sometimes it's hard to get the, a new shield for some of these different helmets that I have laying around here. Uh, this company here, they send you uh, four of these bad boys. Yeah, you get four in a package plus the one on the helmet. So you actually have five all together. So there's going to be a good long life with this. And as you scratch this up, you can pop it off and replace this piece so that you know, you can freshen this up and everything underneath it, of course, is still protected, it's still in good shape. So, you know, you don't have the chances of the scarring and the scratching where light can get through and damage your eyeballs. So that's, you know, we want to keep our balls, right guys? You're right, you know. So the next thing I want to demonstrate is the helmet itself. I just want to tilt up and tilt down, just show you how that works. Okay, so there's the helmet on. I'll tighten up back here a little bit, just, you know, keep it. And then I can bring it down when I want it to. When I put that back up, it's got a nice positive lock on it. So it sort of stays up and doesn't interfere or fall down in your face while you're trying to, you know, work the cell phone or whatever it is you're trying to do. <laughs> or when you're setting up your work and then you can just drop it when you need it, you know. Like always, please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back with more cool tools in the future. This is a nice helmet. I think I better keep this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't trust any of the other ones I have. I would trust this one, so that maybe that says something about it. Meantime, uh, if you haven't got on that draw, get in there. And uh, guys, hey, thanks for watching, and uh, over and out. <laughs>